Over the years since the Chileo Dam was built, there's been a constant flow of water down the river. And what happens is that the water rises and falls depending on them releasing water to produce electricity. And so a lot of the vegetation rots, decomposes, goes into the river. What we've seen, you know, last week was all of this vegetation and rotting trees coming downstream with the force of the floods. And it's only going to get worse because nothing, uh, you know, is being done to clean up the riverbanks, to protect from further erosion. And we're concerned because if you get a big tree that hits the Moyahone Dam, it's going to break the Moyahone Dam, and who knows what's going to come down river. And we don't have accurate uh, reports on water quality. We don't have accurate reports on what's happening with the river. We do know that they're trying to introduce a new um, siren early warning system so you don't really even have a early warning system in case there is a dam break. So all of those things are things that we have been bringing up over the years and they're still not being addressed. And now we're concerned not only about the past tests on water quality and fish, because the problem is when you have all that turbidity and the water is really dark, something called photosynthesis doesn't happen. And that's what is going on when the sun reaches the bottom of the river. There's photosynthesis that produces oxygen in the river. So you're gonna have a situation maybe like the new river where we're gonna have all this dead vegetation and dead fish coming down the river because of lack of oxygen. And we wanna know what's happening and we're not getting answers.